guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and today I'm doing page 13 in my December daily. So I've already done 12 pages beforehand and you'll find them all in the playlist for the December daily if you'd like to see what kind of pages I've already done and I just have a few more to go. So this is a set of SVG files, um, my December daily SVG files. If you're interested, you can find these in my Etsy store. Or perhaps um, you're just watching along for some inspiration for your own December daily. That's good too. So um, there are 16 pages in the set of SVG files uh, and I'm up to page 13. Uh, so there's a whole playlist full of all of the other pages that I've done so far in the playlist. So go along and check it out. Um, today I'm cutting the pieces that are in red out of some cardstock. So the cardstock that I use generally is this one here. It is white cardstock, 65 pound or 176 GSM. Some of the pieces um, I've cut out of the same weight of cardstock, it's the same brand, but it's a different color. And some of it I've cut out of the same cardstock, but it's 12 by 12 instead of the letter sized. So, you know, it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> It's really what I've got. I'm just trying to use up what I've got. <laughs> so um, this size is great. This letter size is great because I can put this through my printer and direct um, print directly onto this as well. So that's why I do like this one. <clears throat> so these pieces in red um, are generally cut out of cardstock and the pieces in green are like the mats for my pages. Um, all my pieces and I've been using this particular set of scrapbook paper. This is also on my Etsy store if you're interested. Um, I couldn't find any scrapbook paper that I really loved in store so I sort of made some of my own. Um, but you can make this project using any Christmas paper that you want to. The problem for me is here in Perth in Western Australia we are having some supply chain issues um, which means that shipping is really slow, a lot of stock in the stores just isn't there. So I um, decided to use this one. So you can, yeah, you can pick this up in my Etsy store. There's 20 pages plus one white page, which has a, a very delicate um, little line through it. It's a good background page. So anyway, let me show you what the pieces that I've cut out for today. Let me put that aside. Where can I put it? There's, I'm surrounded by so much stuff, there's nowhere to put anything. Okay, so here are all the pieces that I've cut out. Um, let's start with, I've cut out this page here. So this is the base page, it's a separate file in the December daily. Um, so I've cut out one of those out of the white cardstock. So that's this piece here, it's already got fluff and things on it. Because I can't keep any white cardstock clean, I'm hopeless. And then I have cut out the mats for this page for both sides. So I've cut those out already. I've cut one out of the grey, the red card, um, <laughs> the red scrapbook paper, and I've cut one out of the green scrapbook paper. And then I have also cut out two of these skinny strips. These, this skinny strip at the side, that's those two is um, where my score line is and these are loose leaf pages so I'm going to bind all the pages together at the end so I'm just making all the pages at this stage. For the score lines on each of these pieces you'll need to know how to change the lines to score lines and attach them to your piece. Now I use a Cricut so there will be a video in this playlist on um, exactly how to upload all the files, um, change the lines to score lines and attach them to the piece. So um, if you haven't done that before, just go and find that video and it will explain it all to you. Okay, sorry, it's a little bit um, disjointed because I keep having to clear my throat. So I'll cut, rem try and remember to cut all those bits out. So then going over to what we've cut out for page 13, I've got two little Po flip pockets that look like um, film negatives I guess you could say so that's these two here I've cut two of these pieces out already and I've actually cut it out of red cardstock just for something different it's the same weight and the same brand as the white cardstock I just thought I'd use a bit of red <laughs> so I've cut two of these out that's these two here 
And that mat that's sitting underneath in green, I've actually cut out of um, acetate or transparency and I've already um, glued it around the edges just to save a bit of time. So I've done that on both of these. So that green mat there I've cut out of transparency or acetate and I've got two of those. <clears throat> then I've got two of these pieces here that look like this. And I've also cut those out of red cardstock, so they're just, they've just got the tab on the edges. That's how we're going to attach them to the page. So there's two of those. And I've only cut, I've cut two mats out for that one, so that's these two mats here. So I'm going to attach those to that. And then this piece here is the insert that's going to slide into this pocket. And I've cut those out, and I've cut those out of white cardstock. And the mats I've already cut out and attached so and I've just done it on one side but you could do it on both sides if you wanted to so that's my two inserts that look like that so they've got no tabs on them there's a curved side and a straight side right so they're my two little inserts for my pockets and then I have cut out this little Polaroid and I've cut it out six times so that's this little Polaroid guy here. I've cut them out six times to make six Polaroids. And then the mat on the back, I've cut one out of transparency or acetate, which you probably can't really see. And then I've also cut one out of um, my scrapbook paper. So it was really good to use my, some of my little scrappy bits for that. So I've cut out six of those. And these ones I've already put together. So they're all ready to go. I'll just put this one together with you so you can see how I did it. <clears throat> so that's that one. And then um, I've also cut out a pocket which was from um, the page two file. So all the file, it comes as a complete package. So I can go back and, um, you know, use whatever I've used previously. So I've cut out this bottom pocket here, which looks like a little forest of Christmas trees. So I cut the, the red piece out of my white cardstock and then the green pieces I've cut out of some of the scrapbook paper. And that's what that one looks like. So I already stuck it down because it does take a minute to stick all those little mats down. But that's what that one looks like. So that's everything we need for this page. So I'll just pop this to the side. And I will pop this to the side and we'll make these little flippy pockets to start with. So I just need these guys here. So these have tiny little um, tabs that you need to fold over on the top and the bottom. And all we're going to do is attach this piece here to this piece here. So I think the best way to go about it would be to fold all our tabs in and this one and this tab here I'm going to attach to this piece at that score line. I put my doggos out so that we can have some peace and quiet but I can hear them barking from here. So I've just started this um, brand new bottle of art glitter glue which I had to order online and wait very patiently for and I've only used it for one um, page so far so I'm still not sure if it's my favorite but it's certainly very good I need to just work with it a little bit more before I decide I'm just going to burnish that down so I can get this nice and flat And I'm just going to put some glue on here. Sorry, just had to rearrange myself. I'm just going to put some glue on here. I do like this fine tip on this little, this little glue bottle. And I'm just going to attach this to here at that score line. I'm trying to keep everything nice and straight and lined up I'll tell you what this uh, glue doesn't give you much time to think about it I'm trying to push it up I think it's already I think it's stuck <laughs> I think that's what I'm living with 
Okay, so then I'm going to flip this one open and I'm just going to put some glue down that skinny little strip. Yeah, so I could put, I should mention, I could put this mat on here so when we close it up we don't, we see that, we don't see the red. But I'm not going to worry about it because um, my insert is going to go in here like that. So you really won't see it too much. That's that's what my plan is. But if you want to put a mat on there, you certainly can. So I'm just going to run some glue down here. And this one, I'm going to have to flip it around. So I'm definitely still getting used to how quick this glue grips. Okay, and then I'm going to fold this over and glue this down. I just love my Cricut for being able to make fancy little um, pockets like this. Love it. And this side too. Now I feel like I didn't line that up quite as nicely as I would like to, but that is life. I have to get used to this glue. So if there's anything hanging off the edges, you can always trim that. But that's basically how we're going to make the, these little pockets. And then this little insert here is just going to slide in here. Like so, and there's a great little spot to put some photos, and you could also journal on the back if you wanted to. So I think that looks kind of cute. So we're going to do that one again. So I'm just going to hopefully line this one up a bit better. It's probably not that bad. But if I fold that over, then maybe I can line this up a little bit. And I might, before I do that, I might just give these a little burnish as well down there okay I'll put some glue on here <coughs> and then I'm going to line this up with this one So to stick on these little transparencies, you might be able to see my glue. I've just run around the edge with my glue. So, you know, one of these little fine tips is definitely something that is useful for that. And some glue along here. Oop, did a terrible job of that. Can't keep it from wobbling. Should have done it laying down. Flat on the table. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold this over on top of those tabs. I need to wipe up that glue. Oh, look, how did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Welcome to the messy crafter. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to press that one down there and that one down there. And that's it. That one's ready to go. So the only other thing is we can put our mats on this as well. So I'm trying to stick the pen in there. There we go. So these are going to sit on our page and flip over. So I do have these mats to go on the back of here. So I'm going to pop those mats on like so. I'm going to go back to the, the glue that I like to use for matting. In Australia, it's... Um, just called craft glue from um, by crafters choice and it's I just buy it from spotlight in big big um, bottles right so I'm just going to run along here uh, so it comes in big bottles but I put it in these little bottles so I'm just going to stick this little guy on here so it's quite early in the morning and uh, I've got a croaky throat and I'm also, <laughs> so 
seem to be a little bit shaky so um, I actually haven't had a cup of coffee yet I've had a cup of tea oh, I always like to have a cup of tea first of all in the morning but I think that's why I'm a little bit croaky and a little bit shaky because <laughs> it's early probably too early to be doing this but it's quiet so I'm trying to do as much of this as I can today while it's nice and quiet in the house. I did a video the other night when I got home from work and I was I had a quick look at it to edit it and all you can hear is the, the TV in the background so I apologize for that. My other half was home and he was in the other room watching the TV, watching the news and it was really loud. I didn't realize how loud it was. And I didn't want to go and tell him to turn it down. I felt a bit rude about that, so I don't know. He probably wouldn't have minded, but... Right, so there's our two little, two little pockets ready to go. I've got stuff stuck all over my little transparencies. I don't know where that even comes from. Let's open that up. I think it's on the inside. I'll have to give it a good clean. But anyway, well, let's pop our inserts in there. That one. How nifty does that look? I love it. And so then it's going to flip over like that. And this one. Need that insert. And that's going to go in there like that. Whoop. There we go, so we've got those two pockets. So now let's grab our base page. And I'm going to attach them to my base page on this side of that score line because as you if you remember I said that this is going to be our binding. So we don't want to put anything on there. So it's so I'll just bend bend it over for now, fold it back. Okay, so then I'm going to pop these two on here and I just need to decide where I'm going to put them. Like so, so, something like that, I think. So I'm just going to get out a ruler and have a quick measure because I, I do like to try and get it fairly um, even. So I'm just going to line up my ruler on that score line. And I'm just going to decide where I'm going to put them. So I have a pencil somewhere. At least I did have. What did I do with it? Ah, oh, it's over here. Okay. So there's my two two little flips. That's at one and a half, and that's at one and a, one and a half, one and a half there. One and a half centimeters from the top, and one and a half centimeters from the bottom. That's where I'm going to put them. So then I'm just going to grab some glue. And I'm going to put some glue on this tab. And pop it on here. Like that. Like that. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Put some glue on here. And I'm lining up the bottom of this one with the bottom, with that little score, that little score line, that little mark that I made with my pencil. I'll glue that one down. And give it a little burnish. Wow, this glue is strong. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I can put my mats on this page. So I'm gonna put my red mat on here. Now you're going to see a little section of my um, little tag here and I'm okay with that. If it doesn't look very good, then I think it's an embellishment opportunity. Maybe you put a bit of washy down the side there or something like that, I don't know but I think it will be okay. 
We'll soon find out, won't we? I'm going to put this mat on. Otherwise, you know, just use white cardstock for your your um, little film flip pages, and then you won't see that those tags at all because they're the same colour as the base page. Right, so then I'm just going to pop this on here. And wiggle it around a little bit. Give it a press. So you know, I, I, you can really barely see them. I'm really happy with that. I think that's great. So let's just press that down. Make sure it's attached. I probably could do with a bit more glue on these sides. If I can get under there. Where's my little doobly? Just my um, Cricut hooky tool thing, weeding tool. Let's put a little bit of glue down the side there. And then I just press it with this. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that is that one. And then I can put that, my red strip down the side. Let's do that before I lose it. I'll pop that on here. This one's going on here. Press that down like so. Maybe line it up a little bit, Katie. Okay. Right, while I am matting, I might just do the back side as well. So let's just flip it over. And I'm going to put my green mat on here. So I just need to put some glue on here. Mm. This has been a super fun project and it's actually something quite different for me. Um, but, you know, when you fall into a rabbit hole, I was watching something on YouTube, I, something came up on Pinterest about December dailies, and I thought, oh, wait, I want to have a go at that too. And then I, I saw all these sort of pages and things that people were doing, and I, I had some ideas of pages that I wanted to do myself. So, here we are. That a good burnish. I might have needed a bit more glue on this side again. In my effort to not use too much glue, I often don't use enough. So I'll just slide down here with my glue. And press it on. That's better. And a little green strip. So you don't have to use these strips if you don't want to. If you've got some washi tape that you really love, that would work. I do have, I do have some glittery gold washi, but I don't have anything particularly Christmassy. So I decided to use this. Use the strips. I think somebody's mowing the lawn outside, isn't that nice? It's really noisy. It's not, it's not a lawn mower, I think it's the um, street sweeper cleaning up all the leaves. Okay, so that's that page. So now on this side of this page, I'm just going to flip this over. And this is where I'm going to put these um, Polaroids that I have. So let's have a look at those because there's one that we still need to make. Where did I put that? Here it is. Okay, so let's just put this to the side for a second. So because I'm making my um, December daily before Christmas, I actually don't have any photos yet to put in my little Polaroids. So if I had a photo that I wanted to put in my Polaroids, I would just cut out my Polaroid, 
cut out my photo and pop it on there like that. And you could use this mat size as a guide for trimming out your photo to put it like that. But I'm making my December daily before I've got the photos to put in it. So what I've done is I've made my little Polaroid into a kind of a pocket. If I can, if I can get in here like this with a bit of acetate at the front and the Christmas paper at the back so I can I can slide my photo in here at the end if I want to or I could slide anything in there if I wanted to I could put a little embellishment in there if I don't have a photo ready to go so that's what I'm doing today so that's what I thought I'd show you so I've got my little Polaroid and then I've got my little piece of acetate which is the same size as the mat so I just cut out one Polaroid and one mat for each one of these let's have a look at the page so the green piece on here I cut one out of scrapbook paper and one out of the acetate for each one of my little Polaroids so then I'm just going to attach my Polaroid all the way around I need to wipe some glue off the edge of this there we go so I'm just going to run some glue all the way around across the top, across here, and then I'm just going to attach my little acetate piece on here, like that, give it a little press, and then my scrapbook paper, I'm just, I'm leaving the top, and I'm just going to run down the sides, and down here and across the bottom and then I've just doing, been doing a little line of glue about halfway up that little bit there so that when I pop my my photo in it won't fall all the way to the bottom but I can still tuck it in nicely and then I'm just going to pop this little guy on top and I have a bit of glue coming out the edges there so I'll just give that a little wipe like so and then I have this little guy here and it's a little pocket I'm scared to to do anything with there we go so I've got a little pocket there that I can put my photo in all right so I'm just gonna stick that back up again Right, now, so I'm going to put some of these on this page here. So when you flip out your little film section, flip, I'm going to have some of these little guys here. So I don't know how you want to set yours up, but I'm thinking that I might do mine stacked up like this on my page, like that. Something, you know, just kind of, messy like I guess I think and the top ones I might pop up so that they stick up a little bit so I've got some I've got some of these am I going to do that or my other option uh, I don't know if I can do that I was thinking about using some photo corners oh what colour are those white ones thinking about using these photo corners maybe I'll use some photo corners let me show you I've got these little photo crafters choice photo corners and these are apparently gold I, I, I don't I don't know how gold that is but okay so anyway I'm going to pop up these ones so I'll just go ahead and pop these all down and I might speed it up because I'm probably going to be a bit slow about this Okay guys I'm back it took me quite a while so I just chopped that whole thing out of the video and um, but here's my little Polaroids I've popped up these two and then these guys are just stuck down but I'm just um, they're just held in with the little photo corners so it will be easy enough to pull them out and pop something in my little pockets there so um, then these flip over like this now this one sits up a little bit because I popped these two out, but um, I think that'll be okay because it'll all be bound in together so it'll, it, it'll flatten a little bit over time. It'll be fine. Okay, so then on the back, 
I'm just going to pop this little guy here, just, just a little pocket down on the bottom here of my page. And then I've got plenty of room for photo inserts or journaling spots um, and tags and whatever I want to put in there really. So I'm just going to put some glue on the bottom of these two tabs and then press that down. So this is the pocket from the page one set of files um, that I'm just using again because I think it's cute. And then I'm just going to put some glue on these tabs. Okay, so I'm going to pop this one on here. Now you could fit two of these on here if you wanted to have a pocket here and then a pocket here. But I'm going to give myself a spot where I can put some big things in. And I'm just going to press that down. Made a bit harder because I've got the puffy bits on the back. <laughs> just press that pocket into place. And that is my complete page done, ready for December. So I think a nice big insert in there would be perfect. Okay, and I, I just love that cute little pocket. <laughs> and then we have the um, flip, the little flip um, photo um, inserts here and all our Polaroids on here. And we could put more Polaroids on here. We could put a piece of paper on here and do some journaling, add some more photos. We could do anything we wanted there. So all it needs is a little bit of embellishing and some inserts on the back here and that page is all done. So that's it for today and that is page 13 from my December daily and um, I still have a few more pages to go so I hope you check out some of my pages that I have left to go um, and there'll be a flip through of the whole thing when I'm finished. So thanks very much for joining me today guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.